October 17th marks International Day Against Poverty. Part of the European Union's 2020 strategy has the ambition of taking 20 million people out of poverty by 2020. Even when that figure was put in place, that was only one in six of those experiencing poverty in the European Union. And the number, of course, is now rising in times of austerity. What we're seeing is a number of national governments thinking that somehow they can solve the economic crisis by making poor people poorer. And that's something we really have to fight against because we know that social transfers help keep people out of poverty. We know that welfare benefits are a real base to keeping a local economy going. And we also know that if you don't deal with poverty, the long-term effects are totally disabling for people in terms of their whole life chances, not least what it does for children. So we need ambitious targets to reduce poverty, but we also need ambitious targets to deal with the economic crisis, not least by asking questions about how come the world's richest 1% are getting richer at a time when most of the world is getting poorer. So we need action on taxation. We need to come out of this economic crisis in a way which at least stops the poor getting poorer because the rich can afford to lose something.